Welcome to our webinar on Essence BI. While we wait for participants to still join our webinar, we're going to run a short poll. We're interested to know who's in the room today. In our initial email, we said we're going to be targeting some decision makers, some marketing um, people as well, some billing administrators. So let us know who's here and who's listening. So most of the people on today's call are decision makers and marketers. Welcome to our webinar. It's lovely to have you today and I hope that all of you are going to learn something about Essence BI and how BI can help your practices. During the session today we'll be sharing some important insights to help you harness the value of your data. With our ever-changing environment now more than ever companies rely on data to grow and thrive. Data is meaningless if you cannot organize and harness the power of that data to derive insights and ultimately transform your business. During today's presentation, we will provide you with a brief overview of our new Essence BI. After the presentation, please contact us to schedule time for a demo. Let me introduce today's presenters. Today, I'm joined by John and Madi from our customer success team. John has been working in radiology for 31 years with over 10 years experience as a practice administrator and has been with Ramsoft for five years. My name is Nicolene. I'm a regional sales manager here at Ramsoft and I will be hosting your session today. Founded over 25 years ago, Ramsoft is a patient care company, not just a software company. This ideology guides the way we envision, develop, and deliver our solutions to our customers. With that in mind, we have developed software that is single platform, very easy to use, and has an incredibly versatile and configurable workflow that is highly scalable. Let's review today's agenda. Today, we will present our new Essence BI solution and its many uses. We'll discuss the benefits of using business intelligence, discuss why we partnered with Microsoft and Power BI. We also look at how the data is captured, look into some specifics about Essence BI, this all leading into a demo of our new Essence BI. Thereafter, we will have a quick recap. We'll also be running a live Q&A session at the end of the webinar. So we have enabled our Ask a Question feature. So there is a chat box where you can enter all your questions during the webinar. And we'll make sure to answer those questions at the end of the session. So the purpose of BI is to optimize decisions, improve problem solving and performance by applying knowledge gained through data analytics. This improvement is realized by delivering information to the right person at the right time and place and in the correct format to inform fact-based decisions. This enhancing the timeliness and quality of the decisions regarding the organization's operations. So BI results in proactive strategic and operational decision-making that leads to enhanced organizational performance and productivity. Okay, so why do we use BI in radiology? So radiology is facing demands to improve service quality and to do more with less. This, it is imperative to eliminate waste and improve workflow. BI can help achieve and continuously improve service quality. Radiology practices are complex with many processes and activities taking place simultaneously. This makes it challenging to leverage data to deliver meaningful information to decision makers to improve operational efficiency. However, there is a wealth of data that's already residing in your information systems that can be used for analytics. So data collection is also automatic and this reduces the effort required for BI and radiology. So the benefits of using BI and radiology include monitoring performance, giving insights into inefficiencies, helping you to optimize workflow and resource utilization in order to allow you to see more patients, hence maximizing operational efficiency and profits. I'm going to hand over to John to explain the benefits of cloud analytics. Well, thanks, Nicolene. Uh, before I talk about the advantages of cloud analytics, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about business analytics. So business analytic tools are not standard risk and past components, but they're definitely essential. Legacy business analytic applications are proprietary methods to display a bat dashboard of information, and they're expensive to implement, and they require a lot of maintenance, and cannot accommodate complex workflows. So many more organizations opt for pre-built analytic platforms for their risk pack software because they're more affordable, more accessible, quicker to implement while being scalable and flexible. However, because most vendors do not specialize in data analytics, companies like Microsoft 
who specialize in big data and AI are now looking to satisfy the business analytic needs in healthcare. And hence our partnership with Microsoft to bring you Essence BI, a cloud-based analytics platform. So taking a look at the advantages, at the advantages here, uh, First of all, kind of provides some decision makers with easy and fast access to business intelligence. It gives them efficient reporting, enhanced collaboration. There's no VMs or dedicated service ne servers needed, and all the computing happens in the cloud. And thus, you know, kind of helping out your resources. And then uh, some other advantages include uh, reduced cost, accessibility, security, and high performance. So we're going to introduce Microsoft BI. So Microsoft BI's main promise is it's a business analytic platform that enables non-technical users to easily analyze data, visualize data, and share and collaborate. So in fact, here on this infographic, we see that for 14 consecutive years, Gartner has recognized Microsoft as a magic quadrant leader in analytics and business intelligence platforms. We are proud to present to you our Essence BI. This product will provide all you desire in a business analytics software platform. So the Ramsoft developer team worked really hard to merge this, uh, the, our database, the Ramsoft database, with Microsoft Power BI to give you, our customers, the tools you need to analyze your business data. But now Nicolene is going to describe how we accomplish this. Thank you, John. So if you are familiar with Ramsoft Power Server, you will know that we have a true single database solution. And Essence BI leverages the same single database. A single database does not require an integration or an HL7 interface, and this allows for fast data refresh required for analytics. As we already have a single database system, it was easy to adapt and plug in our Firebird database into the Power BI infrastructure to leverage this powerful BI application to deliver reports and dashboards of your radiology data. So one of the most important features you need to look for in a BI solution is customizability. Firstly, dashboards. So BI can provide new insights that conventional methods could not, and this is primarily through data visualization tools. Dashboards display information on the current status against the organization's desired position, and metrics are monitored in real time. Through automated dashboards, you can drive performance management and improvement. Dashboards bridge the communication gap between strategic objectives, clinical practice, and informatics. Secondly, metrics need to be customizable, as each radiology practice will have its own goals based on its facility type, individual stakeholder interests, modalities, and information systems used. Hence, a BI solution needs to be highly customizable to meet the radiology practices requirements. So, just as an overall, let's have a quick look at the type of metrics. So the metrics in radiology are either structural, procedure, or outcome space. However, these can be reorganized into measuring clinical performance, patient experience, resource management, HR management, and referring physician management. However, most of the metrics in radiology refer to efficiency metrics. So I'm now going to hand over to John to show us Essence BI. Yeah, great, uh, Nicolene. Obviously, this is the uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, right? Some some examples of what the actual software looks like, right? So we're going to open it up and we're going to take a look at some reports of these different kinds in the software from a from a database uh, from our demo server and from an actual customer. So you can see what Ramsoft data actually looks like in this new platform. So here we go. Here's Essence BI, uh, right here in our demo server software. Uh, so you, as you can see here, uh, we have some billing data here on this report. You can see charged amounts. We have RVUs in here, professional RVUs, kind of an overview of all the, all the different centers. And then uh, you see radiologists over here. And then uh, the visualizations are actually even interactive. So if I click on this visualization, you'll see the other visualization change. So as you as you select certain things, it uh, changes the other visuals. Uh, same thing over here. If I click on these, then select the radiologists that have actually worked for those uh, particular facilities. So the other thing that a lot of people wanted uh, the feature was uh, the speed, the quickness of the software, right? So I'm going to demonstrate that here by uh, changing this report. Right now we're looking at one day. I'm going to stretch this out to several years and uh, we'll see 
how it does, how fast it re refreshes the data here. And just set, select the data and say, as you can see, it went pretty quick there. So I can move this one a little bit early. And you can see we return results very, very quickly here. Uh, it comes back really, really fast. And also a lot of people talked about how customable, customizable it might be. So for that, I'm just gonna show you the different um, fields that we can put on these reports. As you can see, we, uh, we gathered a lot of data points from the Ramsoft database base here to be able to populate these reports. And you can use any of these data points on any of the reports. So we're not res restricted by report type. Uh, if it's a billing report, it doesn't matter. You could put uh, patient data on there. You can put whatever you want on any of the reports. So there's no restrictions there. We also have these different types of visualizations that we can put on here. We have tables, we have graphs. All these things are available for you to be able to customize your report. In fact, this particular uh, report just shows some, some uh, graphs, right? But we have a customer that didn't want to see graphs, so they wanted to see uh, you know, a table like this. And so this customer, uh, this is the way they bill. They just they just needed to see raw numbers and 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 uh, uh, RVUs, um, and then for this particular site here, they, uh, you know, for their overall sites, they wanted to be able to see a time range, so a specific time of the day that they wanted to return these numbers for. So we we did this, we uh, filtered it between 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. and 7 a.m. So that those are the only times uh, these studies are being returned uh, for the for this particular site. And, and they can also filter here by, by facility and by radiologist. And then here they wanted another one that was actually just Monday through Friday, and then uh, based on 11 to seven. So we're able to do all those things here and much, much more with these reports. And we're gonna move on and show a workflow report. These are really good for marketers. Uh, so I'm just gonna open this one up. And these are just examples. Obviously we can change these around to match your needs. This is just uh, some some things that we put together that we thought would would help you guys, but you guys can customize these things uh, and edit them in any fashion that you want. You can see this is kind of an overall dashboard, number of studies, number of study, studies read, addendums. Uh, you know, it shows some some turnaround times here, active referrers, and then once again they're interactive, so you can click here on the visualizations and it adjusts the other visualizations. You also have filters up here that you can use. So uh, you know, lots of different ways to slice and dice your data here. Here's another one, that's a study trend report. This is a year over year report, so you can get trends for your facility. And obviously these trends can be on other metrics with the, other than what we're showing here. So you can just quickly just compare years uh, from one year to the next. You can even put them side by side if you wanted to, but here we're just showing one year at a time. You could do multiple years next to each other. And then here's a demographics chart. So this is just shows uh, the population based on male or female or patients by city and then by modality and those kind of things. And uh, you know, you could put whatever demographics you wanted on here, zip code, uh, refers, all, all those kinds of things are possible. Here's a radiologist productivity chart here and a doctor's daily trend by referring it a uh, physician, active referrers. So there's lots of different things we can do with these. And then uh, here's a, a year over year uh, trend by modality. So you can see all your years right side by side here, 2018, 19, 20. So we can do all kinds of different uh, graphs and and charts uh, in com combination to display the data the way you wanna see it. Next, we're gonna take a look at a performance uh, report. This is great for decision makers. I'm gonna just jump to this report here. Here's a dashboard. This shows some uh, transition times uh, by radiologist. You can also filter here by these three different filters and time filters. Here's a study status transition matrix. So this matrix just shows um, all the study statuses uh, from this facility. Uh, and you can just kind of rifle through all these statuses uh, from the beginning all the way to end and see the transition times for each of these different uh, uh, categories here. So the matrix allows you to be able to 
select exactly which ones you want, and then you can uh, once again filter by a specific radiologist modality, or whatever you'd like to do there. And then, so the last one we're going to take a look at here is uh, is our user activity reports. So these are ones uh, that a lot of our uh, clients have asked for. So you can actually see which users have logged in and out and those kind of things over time. You can select, select by role name, by, acti by activity type. You can do some searching here. And then here's one that just shows the, the number of users per role uh, for a given period of time that have logged in. And then here's a specific user search. So I can just click on the user and it filters out to that user or I can search by last name or even IP address, which is a, a nice feature to be able to search uh, specifically by IP address. So as you can see here, uh, we've done a lot of work with this and Microsoft has really helped us out with their amazing uh, Microsoft BI here uh, to be able to present reports and quickly and efficiently and to give you the data that you're looking for in the, in the way you wanna display it. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it back over to Nicolene and she's gonna just talk about our, a quick recap here. Thank you, John, for showing us how Essence BI will help you monitor performance, give insights into inefficiencies and help you to attain the benefits of BI. Customized reports and dashboards will help you optimize your workflow, which will allow you to see more patients. It's maximizing operational efficiency and profits. So why should you choose Essence BI? Just to recap, Essence BI is cloud-based and secure. You have the flexibility to customize to your needs. Essence BI has a very interactive user interface, which makes it easy to use and provides high-performance analytics. So some of the challenges that you might face with other BI systems now are usually limited to, to pre-programmed metrics and offer little to no customization. Usually BI and radiology is part of a legacy system or completely separate system. And these systems could be difficult to maintain and they can be slow. So I hope that you've experienced what Essence BI can bring to your practice. Um, we're going to go into our questions uh, session now. So please, if there's any questions, please do drop them into the chat box and we will see to answer those. Okay, so we do have one question here. Um, how can I share this data? John, can you take that question for us? Yeah, sure, that's a great question. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just open Essence BI up again real quick and just show you our share options here. So we have a, a share button here. We can go and click on report. So that would share out this entire report, all the pages here on the report. And, and this would be uh, just to be able to share and give access to somebody in your facility uh, you know, within your domain that can, can view the report. And so you can just put their email address in there or multiple, and then you can even put a message about the report and, and click share, and then that'll be shared out with them uh, via email. And we also have this subscribe option, which is really nice. So you can add this report to a subscription. You can enter the email addresses here and give the sub subject and all those kinds of things. And then you can even uh, do the, the frequency. And this one can be report be shared with people inside of your uh, institution or outside. And then you can, you know, you can do this hourly, daily, weekly, mo monthly. So if you wanted to send some metrics to your radiologist about their RVUs or whatever, you could do that and they could receive those and have up-to-date information on how they're performing. Fantastic. Thank you, John. So we've got another question here. How can we I'm um, sorry, can we export reports to PDF? Oh yeah, definitely. Reports are exportable to either PDF, or CSV. So yeah, we can do that. So the, the export function is here. You just hit export data and, and you're able to, to export it out. So we have some more questions. Um, can we exclude non-working hours from turnaround time? Marty, Marty, do you have some more insight on that one? Yeah, uh, so before answering that, let me just expand on the, on the previous question because I see another question about <clears throat> PDF format. So so right now you can export to PDF and uh, you can design a report uh, and export it from the, the view that you see, you can export it to PDF. Uh, the data itself, the tables, you can export them to CSV, you can export them to Excel and like after that you can process the data 
but we also have some uh, ideas to uh, improve the Power BI, uh, Essence BI in future, and that's on our road plan. One of them is uh, something called Microsoft Power BI paginated reports. And I think that's going to be a kind of game changer for people who want to have ready for print reports out of Power BI. Uh, so once we have that, then uh, the report would uh, basically, uh, you can export to PDFs the full uh, context of the report. Uh, but again, you, currently you have the ex, uh, option of exporting to ex, uh, Excel, PDF, and also PowerPoint. Uh, so going back to the question about uh, can we exclude non-working hours from turnaround time, the answer is yes. Uh, so you have uh, various filters that you can add to your report. And uh, using those filters, you basically can define the time that you want uh, uh, the report to look at uh, for turnaround times and just show you those uh, specific time frames. So, uh, and as John showed you, we have like two levels of filtering. One of them is all these items that you see at the top, like study date range, issuer, facility, things like that. But if you want to do some advanced filtering and things that you want to have a, some kind of advanced logic, then you can use the filters tab, which is on the right side of the screen. Perfect. Uh, thank you for explaining, uh, Mati. Uh, you know the software um, quite well. Um, just one more question that we have here. Um, can we add new data sets? Yeah, for data sets, we can come here to where our data sets are at, and we have um, some data sets here that our developers have added, but we can also go to my data sets and create a data set here. And you can go and grab a, a CSV file off of your computer and import that as a data set into the software. So you can use that along with the Ramsoft data in creating reports. Fantastic. Okay, so we do have another question here. Um, can I share the whole BI interface with some of my clients? The way that we are going to license this is that one, uh, and also this this is going to answer one of the other questions, which was about the cost. Uh, so the way we are going to license is that we give um, edit and view uh, access to one user in your organization. You can buy more uh, if you are interested, but usually for most of the scenarios, just one editor would be enough because you, you are not going to edit reports all the time. It's just something that, is going to happen occasionally. But after that, when you want to share the reports, you are free to share it with, uh, with almost any clients or anyone that you want them uh, to have access uh, to your report. So it's like it's one of the uh, features that uh, was built in, in Microsoft Power BI, ease of access for uh, people and collaboration. So yeah, the answer is yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mari. Okay, so we have one more question um, that I see here. And can we auto generate reports uh, distribution? Distribution. Auto, so, auto generate reports, yeah. So that was, uh, I'll go ahead if you wanted to get that one, Mari, I can show it. But. Yeah, John already showed that. That's the, the subscribe okay. option. Basically, you can add uh, any number of users and set a, a specific time frame that you want the report to be generated and be sent to these users, yeah. So yeah, for this specific feature, it's a little different than the share feature. So instead of um, uh, you know sharing out the entire page, you would actually share out specific reports. So it wouldn't share out all the, uh, all the reports in this page. It would only, uh, would only share out this particular report. This page has multiple reports, but you can share out, you know, either just one report by doing subscribe feature, or you can share out the entire page by doing this, this share feature. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, John, for showing us that. Um, so I don't see any more questions here. So with that, I'm going to conclude the session. So thank you um, so much for, for joining our session today. And I hope that you've learned the value of BI for radiology. So we are offering a 30-day free trial for our existing customers. And if you would like to have a personalized demo on SSBI, please leave your details in the post-webinar survey or get in touch with your regional um, sales manager and we'll definitely see to arrange that for you. Also, please do stay tuned. Um, we will be having a 
another webinar hosted on the 26th of May. Um, for more information, please visit ramsoft.com and for more details, um, you'll find everything on our website. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us today.